want to show you um, the Uma Plata in, with his relationship to the Triangle Show. Yesterday I filmed uh, the Triangle Show video with some great detail and today I want to show you the Uma Plata from the same setup um, because it works in, in many ways it works in the same way and I want to show you how to switch from Triangle to Uma Plata or immediately go for uh, Uma Plata. So you're in the close car in this position. Let's turn this way. You are in this position here, like I showed you yesterday, you have control. The most important thing is you need to pull, you need to create distance, like I told you yesterday. You need to create distance. So I put my feet on the ground, I shrimp out, I push my leg against his elbow and put my balls of my feet against his hip bone, you know, or his uh, upper thigh. So from here, I can go for an overhook, traditionally, or you can just pinch. Personally, I like to pinch, you know, because I have more freedom in my arm. So from here, basically, I could not do a triangle choke, I could not do a forebrata. I mean, I could, you know, I'll give you an example. If I would pull up my leg and I would have good flexibility, I could do this. But when he moves forward, he would crush me completely because my biomechanical advantage is uh, completely done, you know. Okay. You see, because, you know, if my, my foot is like this, imagine you would do a squat, with the barbell in this position, it will hit, hurt your knee and your hip. There is no structure in doing this. You can do it if you're extremely flexible, you can do it if you're extremely strong, but this is not, for me, it's not effortless Jiu Jitsu, it's not Jiu Jitsu I can do with 40 or 50 or 60 because it relies on my physical attributes. So this is no option for me. So when I'm here, I move my hips out, I put the ball of the feet on his hip bone, I pinch or I hook, and now, I use my shoulder a little, and now I move my hip. I can put my other foot on his hip bone, and now if he pushed into me, I have a very good structure. Here I could support a lot of weight without hurting my knee, without hurting my hips. From here, it's pretty simple to shift a little more, now lift my arm, and come over. As soon as I come over, I grab his back pinch my knees, and now I turn my knees around his elbow. You see, I mean, we are here, it's exactly like a kimura. I push his elbow on the ground. Why his elbow? Because I want to maximize the lever. I wouldn't use a, um, a lock on his shoulder because there is no lever. I use his upper arm as lever, and then I torque his shoulder with the upper arm. So from here, I move my hip forward and get the tap. One more time. This is the position I want, starting from here. The most important thing, creating distance. Don't try to do something by lifting my, your foot up or something. That works if you're flexible, that works if you're strong, but it puts a lot of risk and tension on your joints, the spine, hips, and knee. So you're here, you use your hip, you lift his elbow up, you put the balls of your feet against his hip, hold his neck, pinch his arm, and now you're in a very good position. You move your shoulders away, you bring the other leg on his hip bone, so you're supporting his hip. You could grab with this arm his triceps on the other side, so you're pretty good. You can hit and he couldn't hit you. He cannot headbutt you. He cannot kick you. Very good position from here. Now you move your shoulder and you lift up your knee and you push his elbow. I'm not going to his shoulder. I'm going to his elbow. And as soon as I do this, I grab. I'm in this position, I grab, I turn, I, I have a lock on his elbow. It's like Kimura. I move up and I get the submission. Last time from the other side, so you can see some details on the other side. You are here, this position, head down, move, kick out. I move my shoulder, I move my hip, I put the foot, I grab his wrist or his tricep. So he couldn't punch me, he couldn't headbutt me. Very good position, you know. From here I push and, you know, I pinch, so it's not, he's not free. I could break his arm maybe, I could, I could control him by pinching. And now I come up, still pinching, and as soon as I come up, I grab. My feet go to the ground, here, here, here. This is the basic version of the Uma Plata, same beginning, like the triangle choke. In the next video, 
I will show you how to go from a trial show into a Moblata and maybe I will show you some more details in finishing and controlling the Moblata.